Hey everyone, my name is Andres and I'll be taking you through the next couple of minutes. Right, so let's get into the theory of how this works. Behind the scenes, the software takes four inputs. A helix, a 3D curve um, that we can use, a shaft body, a bottle body, and a rotation point. So using those four inputs, uh, the add-in takes the bottle and then rotates it around its own axis, if you should choose to do that. At the same time, it's being rotated about the selected helix or curve. And then while rotating it in both directions, this bottle body is then subtracted from the main body. And we can see the difference in the pictures below. Using the default swept cut, we get a result where we have very hard um, lines and edges, which might be sufficient in circum certain circumstances. But most of the time, what you're looking for is something that looks more like the result we see on the right hand side where um, we do have an infeeding scroll that actually pushes the body along the, the given uh, curve. What we have here is um, some of the results that we can see where we've got a rectangular profile at the top being rotated through a 90 degree angle. A smaller profile, uh, which has got a lot smaller pitch on the helix, but still a very good result. And then at the bottom, a, 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 a similar one to the first result, but it's not been rotated through that angle. Now I'm going to talk about some of the unexpected results we get when working with gradient. The first problem we have is that the final surface does not generate. And this is often brought about by the fact that there are um, tangent or non-tangent edges which form part of the profile. And when cutting the profile from the shaft, um, these edges can cause the surface to fail. So um, our, our problem really in this case is the fact that this uh, split segment over here causes the tangent edge over there and that split segment over there is the cause of the tangent edge over there. So to fix this what we would have to do is to select the entire sketch profile and then to use the fit spline option. Our next problem is when the profile cut results in a tube instead of a scroll. Now this sometimes has to do with the fact that this angle here might be too great um, or it might have to do with the fact that the overall size of the profile, uh, the ratio of that size at the bottom to the ratio at the top might be too great. And really to fix that, um, we will deal with it in an upcoming video tutorial. And uh, basically what we have to do is just do better pre or post processing. Lastly, our problem that we're facing is that some of the curves you use can take an extreme amount of times, up to three and a half hours. Using one of the examples, we converted a helix to a spline, which resulted in 39,000 points. So to generate the feature, it took an extreme amount of time. And what we used to solve that problem was to use the Simplify Spline tool to reduce the number of spline points from 39,000 to 600. The result we got was still acceptable and within the limits, and we ended up giving this result to the client. Looking at some of the bottle bodies, um, we have also come across a number of issues. And the first of those is that uh, when we use completed bottles as the input body, this can significantly push out the generation time of the scroll. So um, our suggestion there is not to use the entire finished product to generate the scroll, but rather to simplify the geometry as much as possible. When we look at the geometry in the middle image, uh, we can see that by getting the most critical points down for the geometry, the result is still acceptable um, in the image on the far right hand side. So it really isn't necessary to record all of those details. Uh, what we simply need to do is to use a revolved body to get us what we want.
going back to the previous image, um, I'd just like to make a note at this point to say that um, the generation time for the top profile in this case and the bottom profile in this case on my machine on a Dell M6800 took roughly 45 seconds. For the image in the middle, the generation time will be significantly longer because the number of bodies that are generated and cut from that shaft is an order of magnitude higher. So you can expect around about 10 to 15 minutes to wait for that feature to generate. That wraps up our discussion of the profile bodies. Uh, be sure to watch out for our next tutorials. Thank you.